In the next sections, we're going to be covering a lot of the different gear and grip that you can use to make your tethering workflow the most efficient um, and most custom to your uh, personal solution. Now, there are a ton of options on the market to how to best tether from complete DIY to super high-end, very expensive. Um, we're not going to do a lot of the DIY. We're going to start with a lot of the options that are easily available uh, to you online. And in the very first setup we have here, we've built a solution that we think is pretty much affordable if you're gonna be shooting professionally, that is good for studio and also on location. And a lot of the tools you'll see here are adaptable, so you can shoot on location without having to completely reinvest in a whole nother system. And also on top of this, it is also pretty mobile. One person can basically put this down, break it into a bag, carry it on location, and be set up in about 15 to 20 minutes. When it comes to tethering, there are a million options. What we're gonna do now is cover entry level all the way to the higher end options and show you piece by piece what you can use to make a workflow that's efficient for you. Now on this workflow here, we have a tripod. Any tripod will work. Um, I would definitely suggest you invest in something that is going to last you a few years. This is uh, my first tripod uh, from about 10 years ago, still working, made by Manfrotto. Now from the bottom here, we have an attachment that goes onto your tripod. Uh, this is made by Tether Tools, and it allows you to put three casters and make your workstation, which can get quite heavy, pretty mobile. So you'll notice here that if I would like to move my setup, let's say I'm the photographer, I wanna move my lights, I need to bring this with me because my cable isn't infinite. I can now move it pretty easily with one hand, and I don't have to pick up my whole workstation and move it across. The nice thing too is if I wanted to be out on location, obviously you're probably not going to want to use wheels on location as the ground isn't level. You can take these off and work on an uneven surface. So it's nice to have that as an option if you need it. So moving up from the tripod itself, you'll see the first thing we have attached to the tripod is the utility tray. This is also from Tether Tools. That is attached to the tripod through what's called the Tether Tools Master Clamp. You'll see from there we have a lot of A clamps. You're just gonna need a lot of these for a lot of different reasons. You're always rigging something up in photography. So invest in a lot of these that are also black. Don't get colored ones of these. You can get these from Home Depot. You can get these from Tether Tools. You can get these from B&H. They're everywhere. Um, just get black ones. The next tray that you see here is the Tether Table Arrow. This is also from Tether Tools. Uh, this comes with the mount to go directly onto, let's say, a C-stand or your tripod. It's a pretty universal mount, and that's what we have our computer attached to. Now, you'll notice that there's two things that we added on to here. One, this strap to keep a PA or an assistant from someone knocking this over. And then we also have this uh, a pad right here, which is going to be grip. It allows for the computer to sit on something that's grip and not on metal. Now, as we rotate our station, you'll notice that you see a spot for our external hard drive. And if you're going to be shooting tethered, you're going to be going to the internal hard drive on the computer, and we're going to need a second location to put those files. This is a great modification that you can get from Tether Tools as well to put your hard drive. And the second thing you'll notice here is our jerk stopper system. It is a two-part system that attaches to the cart itself near where you're going to be plugged into the computer. And also once on your camera, can be on the bottom of your camera or on the side of your camera. And this part comes out here, the cable goes on top, and then it prevents you from pulling out accidentally and destroying the ports on your computer and on your camera. So it keeps you connected. It's a really cheap way. This is probably one of the first things you wanna buy if you're gonna be shooting tethered. From there we have cable management. Again, it's really cheap to stay organized and you don't want to have a huge mess of cables everywhere on uh, your workstation. So the first thing you can do is just get Velcro. When you travel, use Velcro. You don't want to be untangling cables and be stressed out while you're setting up. You'll notice that also there's modifications. These are made by Tether Tools. I recommend getting five to ten of these. These are pretty invaluable. You can clip them on pretty much anywhere and allows you to have your cables nicely organized. 
You'll also notice on the very far back, in addition to Velcro, we're also using these little A-clamps, what we talked about earlier. Again, these are useful for a lot of things right now. We have our uh, Apple uh, MagSafe um, power cable hidden in the back here. And below that, you'll see another piece from Tether Tools. This just allows you to easily attach this onto your tripod itself. And then we're using more A-clamps down here for cable management before we plug into power. So there you have it. This is gonna be our most basic setup that's good for in-studio and out on location. This entire setup is gonna run in between six to $700, depending on your tripod and depending on what accessories you add on to this. Now to recap, the tripod itself doesn't matter. It's universal. You can use your existing tripod to fit on to the Tether Tools casters that we have here at the bottom. Uh, we have the utility tray, a spot for your camera. You can have multiple utility trays for multiple cameras if you were shooting with multiple. And on top here, we have a spot for our hard drive and a spot to safely put our computer without it falling off. Now let's take a look at a setup that's a little bit more rugged for location shooting. In this setup, we're not really shooting tethered, but we kind of are. This is gonna be customized for someone that wants to shoot out on location, and they might not be able to afford a team of people to help them run a set. Specifically, a lot of people that shoot architecture might fall into this category. So let me go through this setup. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that we have a tripod and a camera mounted. You'll notice the one thing that we are shooting to here is the Cam Ranger. Um, attached to our Really Right Stuff tripod, through our Tether Tools MagSafe adapter that we used in the previous setup. That goes through our USB 2.0 cable into our Canon 5D Mark III to get uh, the files in here. Now we're shooting to two cards, both the SD card and the CF card internally here. So we have two backups of our um, file in the camera itself because we're not actually sending raw files to the iPad itself, we're just sending a preview, so you're able to see what you're getting, you're able to adjust your aperture, your f-stop, and all of your settings without actually touching the camera, and actually being quite a bit far away from the camera itself. So it's incredibly uh, convenient for an efficient workflow. The next few things you'll see here is we're, again, we're using our master clamp from Tether Tools, or a super clamp from anyone else like Manfrotto. This allows us to build a workstation without having to carry a table into the woods or into any location. So all of this um, can be easily adjusted, high, low. You can basically put a table um, anywhere you're at. So just by turning this, it's gonna lock it down pretty tight. And you're able to put a decent amount of light to medium weight things on a table such as this. And the last thing we would recommend is using some sort of sunscreen or way to minimize the reflections on the glossy screen iPad itself. Uh, Hoodman is a company that creates a lot of different um, hoods for different devices of all sizes. So depending on the iPad you get, uh, you can use this. You can also just bring black velvet with you, completely drape it over your head. That's gonna be probably a $10 solution from like Joanne Fabric, but you're gonna look a little silly doing it. So. We recommend having a, at least one of these on set if you're going to be walking around in a bright location. But overall, this is a very simple setup from the Cam Ranger itself. You're looking right around the $500 range, a little bit higher if you go in with high-end carbon fiber that will put you into the $1,000 to $1,200 price range for the entire setup, not including the camera and the iPad. So overall, this setup uh, can really range in price. What you see set up here, not including the camera, not including the iPad, is around $1,500, but it's incredibly sturdy, and this tripod and the ball head are gonna last you probably for most of your career. One modification that we have to this setup is to simplify it by using just one tripod 
and using the crossbar from Tether Tools. This allows us to attach the same tray to one side of the crossbar while putting our camera's um, tripod mount to the other side of the crossbar to create a much simplified setup. Um, from there, we can use master clamps and J-hooks. Uh, J-hooks are a good addition to the master clamp itself. You can hang cables, you can hang tape, you can hang really anything you want. It's just another way to stay organized on set. Um, overall, this setup is very similar to what we just covered, but allows you to A, not invest in another tripod, and B, be a little more minimal while you're on set, either in studio or out on location. Now let's take a look at some of our higher end setups.